Join me Thursdays at 10 a.m. for live SketchUp workflow sessions. Here's a clip. So whenever you load a new drawing set, all you have to do is hit the reset button and watch what happens over in my tags dialog. When I hit reset, it loads in. These are all of the, the tags that are defined in the drawing set. And anything outside of the folder is not defined in the drawing set. So when we create drawings using the conduct tools with this drawing set, all of these tags are going to be forced on. So the canvas tags, I, at one point I did make a, uh, like a drawing set with the canvas tags, but then they changed their tags and then it's kind of weird the way they do like one underscore or like the level underscore. So I found that, you know, it was easier just to kind of use this setup. So like you can see that, you know, there are ceilings and floors and walls, you know, you can just kind of turn this stuff off and uh, then hit reset to bring it all back on. All right, so the SketchUp tags are assigned to this geometry. Well, now what we're gonna do is assign conduct tags to this geometry as well. And this is how I kind of get a, um, uh, an existing conditions model whipped into shape. So like I would select this uh, ceiling scenario and actually, you know, first, I'm just going to select everything and just say this is all interior and existing. So now everything that I've just tagged there is controlled by like our interior tag and our existing tag. So you can see how much quicker it is to assign tags than, you know, going up here into your drop down. And furthermore, I can assign multiple tags to one entity with our conduct tags. All right, so now what I would do is I would go to my all elements off. So when I click that all elements off button, you can see that all of my element tags are now turned off. And so now if I select like the ceiling, I can just click ceiling. And so this guy here, this guy here, these are ceilings. So as I tag things, they just disappear. So that'll be our walls and uh, this will be our floors. And there's no you know, right or wrong way to do this. You just kind of chip away at it. Uh, so like you know, this guy uh, and this guy, these are all fixtures. So I turn those off. And then um, these are gonna be doors like that. And so doors. And then uh, this will, the trim is a little bit uh, messy there. So we'll grab all that and like that. And so we just hit trim. And then we can grab some more of that trim. Uh, actually, I'll get this, 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 and this will be a fixture. And this will be trim as well. And then, um, <laughs> yes, sir. These, uh, I got to tell you, when I was working on, uh, you know, kind of testing all of these, um, the, the tagging system, and the first time that I got the version where the tags worked, I was laughing. It was like, it was something, you know, you always think about like, oh man, I, you know, if I could assign multiple tags to one entity, it gets rid of this nested groups within groups within groups. And when I finally like felt it work, it was, uh, it was life changing, right? All right, so uh, that's gonna be windows. And then we have like ceiling equipment and ceiling equipment would be like anything that, you know, like fans and vents. I just throw that on the ceiling equipment tag and then we'll take all this stuff and this those are all lights like this and then um, all this stuff I'm just gonna call all this stuff trim and you know like some folks like to uh, model all of the all the switches and outlets inside a sketchup and I don't. I, I just, I tend to use, you know, for me, it's more of a diagram that I'm going to build in the layout and it takes a lot of work to do that. Although I understand the value of it. You know, if you're going to like create like interior elevations of every room and, you know, call that out, like it, that would be a good idea. But typically the sets that I work on or the projects that I work on, you know, I'm not really getting that far into the, the weeds on it. So um, okay, so you can see that like everything's disappeared and the nice thing about working this way is that like it's a, it's a visual checklist. So um, now I can just hit the architect drawing set. Or, I'm sorry, the, the reset button on the architect drawing set there and it brings everything back. And then when I select things, you can see that you know our, our tags all show up here 
and you're always getting that feedback.